How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with a bit of ecliptic up in this piece in form of their Pixis. Pixis Pilsner. Uh, it's a limited release. This is a 5.5% Pilsner. Noble Hops complemented this balanced Pilsner, finishing crisp and refreshing. Pixis is our spin on the classic German style lager. Let's do it. I just watched England versus Scotland in the Euro Cup. That sucked. Horrible game. And Scotland played pretty pretty well. England, bad. Like, bad. So, now I need beer. I'm going on my first beer journey of the year tomorrow. It's Father's Day weekend. I'm vaccinated. My child is vaccinated. Well, not for COVID, but has his vaccination. My wife is now vaccinated. So, I'm going to go out and about. Do a little, little New York City, lower or upper, lower New York state. Not New York City kind of thing. And I'm kind of pumped for it. What does that look like? Pilsner. You know? Very clear, very classic kind of Pilsner. They talk their twist on a German Pilsner, but if you look at that from a un chili haze kind of thing, it looks like super clean, crisp kind of Pilsner. Not like a kind of like um neurotic kind of head on it. It's not like soft or creamy or like fluffy or anything like that. But again, how often do you pour a Pilsner in a glass like this? I grabbed the wrong glass. I didn't feel like getting up. That looks more like it. It's a good nose. Leveny malt. I get like this lemon kind of thing in here, but not an acidic kind of lemon. Like a soft, almost like lemon drop hoppy kind of thing going on here with this kind of maltiness that comes off. It's not cakey or bready or like, um, well, it's a little bit kind of crackery leaning into bready, but it's not like a sweet lemon or like lemon cake. There's a soft lemon vibe to it. A nice malt kind of crackerness, like I said. I can see there being a nice little pop of uh, kind of old school kind of bittering on this. Down and down, it smells super clean, super crisp. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, I still get this kind of lemon characteristic. It's not all that aggressive. So I'm assuming that's the hops at play here. That they're bringing this kind of nice, kind of sprightly, almost getting into like lemon pledgy kind of territory as far as how vibrant the lemon is. Not as caustic or chemical like that, but it has this kind of super zippy kind of lemon characteristic. On a really nice, almost perfectly crisp kind of beer. There's a subtle heft of the malt bill. I don't mind it, um, but it's a crispy boy, but it's just not ultra crispy boy. And it's nice, kind of light, subtly crackery, kind of like plain saltine, kind of without the salt kind of crackeriness to it. And um, that little zip of bitterness to it that I thought was going to be there that I'm thankful that is there. Done and done. I mean, this is Summer Crusher. 12-ounce can. You're talking about five in chain, so technically it's on a session beer. Uh, five and a half. I mean, if you gave me a sixer of this for 10 bucks, I am a happy camper. You know, chug the crap out of this. Hot, humid kind of day. We've been really, really lucky over the past week. We've had some very temperate weather. You know, nothing too aggressively hot. Um, but today kind of eked it back up there humidity-wise. So I was kind of, kind of chopping it a bit for something light and crushable. And I definitely got what I wanted in this beer. So yeah, um, that nice, slightly toasted, crackery kind of maltiness. A little bittering zippiness, that lemon characteristic coming from those uh, from those hops. Done and done. It's one of the better pilsners I've had as of late. Yes. Um, is it Mount Rushmore stuff? Actually, it's eking up towards the top. It's not, but it, it's it's really tasty stuff. I dig what Ecliptic does. And, um, and while not all their beers are hits for me, more often than not, when they kind of kind of cool the jets on the weirdness because they'll, they'll they'll throw some stuff against the wall that just doesn't stick and that's typically the misses that i get from them when you go ultra classic like this they're typically spot on so this is damn tasty stuff bag and availability on this i actually don't know i am hoping this is right around that 10 11 mark for a six pack and leave you with if you like what we like this beer if you like pilsner i mean not to be that on a nose but if you like pilsner with a little bit of a zippy lemon like kind of hoppy twistiness to it you'll like this so there you go Reviewing the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out through the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing a whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little Pixis right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.